for the best omelet, buy good quality, fresh eggs, preferably even organic, because the better the eggs, the better the omelet. To make an omelet, place two or three eggs into a bowl. To blend the eggs, a fork works best. Whisking is not ideal as it incorporates too much air. This gives the omelet a souffle-like texture, which is not desired in this case. You can clearly see how frothy the one on the right is when compared to the one we blended with a fork. The eggs should be mixed until there are no traces of egg white left. This will produce an omelet that has a nice, even color. You can see here that the egg white has not yet been fully incorporated. This will produce an omelet with traces of egg white throughout. Once the eggs have been fully blended like this, season with a bit of salt and pepper. Some people like to add a bit of milk or water at this stage for supposed fluffiness. It is sometimes added to older eggs as well. However, most purists add no liquid to their eggs. When cooking omelets, the heat should be at about medium to medium low, just a bit higher heat than used to cook scrambled eggs. Omelets can be cooked over higher heat. Remember that most cooks in busy restaurants don't have time, so they use high heat. This just takes a bit more practice and a different pan. Lower heat allows you to use non-stick and it gives you more time, which alleviates some of the pressure that high heat brings. The fat used to cook an omelet can be either butter or olive oil. Omelets cooked on higher heat are sometimes made using clarified butter. However, there are still many chefs that prefer the taste of whole butter. Whichever you choose, just use enough fat to lightly coat the pan. Once the fat is melted, pour in the eggs. Using a heat-resistant spatula, briskly scramble the eggs. At first, the eggs will be quite runny. Use the spatula to scramble around the edges and into the center. Periodically scrape around the edges trying to keep a fairly round shape. Continue doing this until the eggs start to cook and set a bit. Once the eggs begin to set, simultaneously shake the pan back and forth while constantly stirring, like this. This will help to fill in any gaps that form. You can see here that the eggs are still very runny and as we stir and shake the pan, the eggs run back into the gaps very quickly. Keep shaking and breaking up any bigger curds that may start to form. The constant stirring and shaking will make for a nice creamy and smooth omelet. If you do not constantly stir and shake the pan, you will end up with holes and gaps in your omelet like this. As the eggs cook, you can see that the gaps do not fill in as quickly. This indicates that it is almost done. At this point, turn off the heat and use the spatula to even out the eggs. Here you can see that the eggs are still somewhat runny. Just let the omelet sit for about 30 seconds or so. When ready, the egg should look like this. You can see they are still slightly wet, but no longer runny. The residual heat from within the omelet will continue to cook the eggs once it is rolled. To roll out the omelet, have a plate ready. Then using the spatula, fold over the top third, down over the center like this. Now give the pan a gentle shake or use the spatula to help bring the egg to the very edge of the pan. Then in one clean motion, flip and roll the egg out onto the plate like this. Use the edge of the pan and the spatula to help flip the egg over onto itself. A classic French omelette is typically shaped like a cigar. To achieve this oblong shape, fold the top third over, then fold the corners over a bit like this.
Then roll out the omelette. If needed, you can even adjust the omelette a bit to give it a more defined shape. Though this may look fancier, it is not really necessary. What is important is that the omelette has little to no color and is just barely cooked in the middle like this. However, if this seems a bit too wet for you, simply cook the eggs a bit longer before you roll out the omelette. Just keep in mind that if you overcook an omelette, it will brown, and the more color an omelette has, the more likely it is to be rubbery and dry. Ultimately, how you like your omelette is up to you. However, we do encourage you to try an omelette that is just barely cooked in the center like this. You will be amazed at how light, delicate, and creamy it is. Is this how you...